overhead magnetic stirrer can be used with either of our stirred cells here. Um, it's a great upgrade from our traditional magnetic stir plate and stir bar when you're using viscous solutions or when your stir plate doesn't have enough power to get through the thicker base on our HP 4750X. All right, when we're putting together our mechanical stirrer here, we're gonna need a set of Allen keys. I'm using a three quarter inch wrench. I've got a pin spanner wrench, a flathead screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, and of course some anti-seize and some PPP tape. Here's our mechanical stirrer. It's gonna look like this out of the box. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take a 3 32nd Allen key and remove this knob on the top to the side. Next, we're gonna to have to move four screws, two on this side, two on the opposite side, and then remove this white cover. Okay, from here, let's remove the shover, set that to the side. Next, we're gonna use a 3 16th Allen key to remove the top bracket that is in here. Okay, we're gonna loosen that. Let's just set this to the side. All right, next we're gonna take our extension rod. We're gonna thread that into the top of our stand. Okay, and tight. And then I'm just gonna use a Phillips screwdriver. I'm gonna insert that through the shaft. And just use that to tighten it a little bit more. Okay, from here, back to our 3 16th Allen key. We're gonna nice. loosen the clamp holding our cell holder here at the bottom. There's gonna be two set screws on the back side. We'll loosen both of those up about two to three inches above the base. And we could always adjust this a little bit depending on where we set or what, what type of cell we are using. Now let's loosen the set screws on this bottom clamp that holds our motor and pulley assembly. Line that up, and I like to separate this about 18 and a half inches from the bottom of this to the top of this clamp. Uh, it's what I've found works pretty well for our HP 4750X. Got a mark on there, let's double check with the measuring tape. That's 18 inches, so we're going to go a little bit higher. Okay, now back to our motor and our pulley. We're slide that back on top. Now let it rest on that clamp. And back to our top clamp. Slide that on top. There's a spring washer in here. Make sure that's lined up. And we're going to apply a bit of pressure and tighten. Uh, using our 316 Allen key here. Just like that. We'll reinstall our plastic cover, just slide that over top. And we've got four screws that we'll put back in place using a 332nd Allen key. And then our knob right back on top and using the same 332nd Allen key, we'll set that, we'll tighten that set screw. We are going to be installing our HP 4750X with our mechanical stirrer. So we'll start with our cell top here. We're going to need a adapter fitting here. We'll start with four to five wraps of PTFE tape on the threads. Like that. And then of course, we'll apply a bit of anti-seize just so the stainless steel fittings don't gall or seize once we thread this in. There we go. We're going to thread it in by hand. And once we're hand tight, I'm using a three-quarter inch wrench. Just to tighten it, we're going to use about 20 pounds of force to snug it up. There we go. 
from here. We're going to drop our metal gasket into the top. We'll take the magnetic drive of our mechanical stirrer and we'll thread that into the top. Okay. Hand tight. Then using a one and a half inch spanner wrench, we'll place that into the top and snug it up the rest of the way. Same thing about 20 pounds of force. All right, at this point we can take our stir rod. We're gonna be placing our impeller on one end of the stir rod. And set that in place by tightening the set screw using a flathead screwdriver. From here, we're going to flip our cell top over, insert that stir rod into the top and thread it into the magnetic stirrer. There we go. Okay. From here, we're going to make sure our gasket is in place on our cell top. And then carefully flip it over and set it into our cell. Just like that. And of course, I've applied anti seize to each of my bolts. I'm going to thread each of them in and tighten the cell up. And then in a star pattern, we're going to finish tightening each bolt in two passes up to about 15 to 20 pounds each. And there's my first pass, pass number two. Next, we're going to take a splined adapter here. We're just going to line it up and press it into this coupler, just like that. And before we install our cell, we're going to loosen the set screw here on the coupler and gently lift your cell onto the stand. We're going to loop the knob on top to create some clearance. Slide it under and just let it back down. Once we're there, same eighth inch Allen key, we're just going to tighten the set screw to hold everything in place. If you need a bit more clearance on when you're when you're sliding this in, there is a collar in here with a set screw on there. You can lower that and it'll give you a little more room. All right, finally, let's connect our cord here into our power supply. And then finally, make sure we connect our pressure source into the inlet here on the top of your cell. This is gonna be a 1 8 MPT port. And that'll do it, all right.